Hello everyone and thanks for dropping in. Uh, it always feels good and I'm always excited when something is delivered to me boxed in its original packaging like uh, this uh, Sony MSX Heatbeat model especially because the seller told me that it is in working state, it works fine and in great condition and it comes uh, with some peripherals as well. Uh, we'll be taking a look uh, really soon opening the box. Um, it's always a thrilling moment and I feel really glad every time I have to review, uh, take a look at the uh, MSX series whatever model uh, that comes in the lab. Uh, I'll be sharing these moments with you. The initial launch of this guy was back in June 1984 and this specific model was designed for the British market therefore HB75B. And there were a lot of peripherals already launched about this model and this series of models um, around Europe, uh, which uh, made it, uh, every single model of these uh, a complete package. And uh, allow me to say that this is a very well designed uh, computer too, and um, a high quality uh, computer. Uh, the keyboard, the plastics, the design, everything uh, about this model is great. So let's open up the box. I know the box has seen better days, but it's 40 years old. Please don't forget that. So I'm pretty happy with this purchase. And it looks to me like it is well packed. Um, and this seller was decent, uh, very good in communication. And here we have the first peripheral. Wow, I like that. The original uh, fancy. Sony um, JS55 model joystick which uh, looks like uh, it is impressive and very well designed and very robust. Well, what can I say? That's a great uh, addition to my collection along with the um, Sony Heatbeat computer. So let's dig a bit uh, deeper inside the box and see what else is there. Let's move. Ah, that's an impressive angle for the joystick uh, connector. Standard 9-pin um, connector, the Atari type, if you will. Um, let's go deeper and check what else is there. I can I not really see a cable, uh, which is the UK type. Yeah, of course, it's the British model. But it doesn't come from the computer. It comes from the tape uh, player, the cassette player that comes along with the computer. We'll take a look at this guy. I like the old cassette players very much. So I guess I have to change also, and this is our guy, the computer right here. And of course, must have the, yeah, the same type of British plug for the mains. So I have to perform an operation and change two um, plugs and uh, put the European type of uh, mains plug uh, for the computer and the cassette player as well. And what else is there? Is the cables? I can see some cables. And what else is down there? Another cable. Okay, this is good. This is not just nice to have, but I believe it is essential. It's the cassette player cable for loading and saving games. That's good. When the seller told me that it's going to be a cassette player along um, with a computer package, I didn't expect that to be that good. And this is a Ferguson 3T31 program data recorder from 1985. And the bonus is the MSX introductory tape. I can see that it's in perfect shape and condition. It has all the controls, um, no scratches, no damages everything seems to be working just fine. I have to check, of course, but it looks like it is in great condition. First uh, thing to do for me is to change, of course, the mains uh, plug, the British standard uh, the mains uh, plug here. I will put the uh, European type of plug so I can test it. I will do the same for the computer, of course. Um, I have no reason to believe that uh, maybe the belt needs to be replaced and then we should have a great uh, working unit uh, for loading games onto the MSX, but not only on the MSX. Also, it should work with every other uh, type of 8-bit uh, computer from that era. We can see it has the auxiliary here, microphone and remote, Everything is on the back. 
um, everything that you need of course there is no speaker it's not intended to be uh, used with um, for, for um, music and entertainment the signal goes from the pre-amplifier to the computer for loading and uh, vice versa for saving so um, I guess it's a very very nice piece of hardware to be used for bringing back to life the old uh, tapes with games that we have and so no further delay uh, we have um, the heat beat computer right on the desk here in the lab it looks like it is indeed in great condition we can see the uh, diagram how to connect it how to be used the first cartridge port here the in LED indicator uh, great mechanical keyboard and um, the plastic case and the whole construction uh, it feels like it is um, high quality made computer so let me just um, swap the plug for the mains and um, I cannot really wait to see if this uh, computer works and we can have something on the screen but before I do that uh, let's take a look around the computer on the right side a couple of uh, controller ports for the joysticks and on the back you can find everything that you need the second cartridge to connect the disk drive controller if you will the printer uh, uh, port uh, RF modulator connector tape um, SCART uh, for the RGB signal and uh, once again I have to say how much I like the computers that uh, they had uh, the power supply as built-in solution um, without any messy cables and as I don't have the uh, special cable the audio video 16 cable that is needed in order to connect the computer to um, uh, my TV or a, a monitor uh, I managed to find this old uh, SCART cable uh, somewhere around here in my spare so I will try to go over this solution to output the video and, and audio on my TV alright and as I managed to uh, swap the mains plug the computer is powered on now as you can see the LED indicator is on and uh, what is coming up on startup is a built-in piece of software which is called the personal data bank uh, and it is composed of an agenda or a scheduler if you will a memo um, address manager and a transfer utility and the last option on this other part of the window on the screen if this is to be considered uh, some kind of GUI of that time is to go straight to basic and this is what we're going to do you can move among the options well, using the cursor keys up and down and the return key for the selection you made now the image quality via the uh, SCART cable is pretty nice I'm pretty sat satisfied with it but I bet you it would be even greater and better uh, over a CRT monitor or uh, an old uh, CRT TV maybe uh, but I cannot complain the image is great through the RGB um, slash SCART connection but I think we can go over the graphics on the screen uh, using some uh, cartridge game um, to check the uh, the sprites and everything on the screen like this year Kung Fu by Konami for MSX in cartridge media uh, which was somewhere stashed around here in the lab for years and years and now it's time for me to use it and um, at the same time I will conduct this test on the um, MSX heat bit machine so I have this cartridge um, inserted and uh, let's take a look at the graphics my, my intention is not to go full uh, gameplay no, not at all the only um, reason presenting this is of course to test the computer and uh, the cartridge at the same time and it looks like it works just great and the quality of the graphics is great I mean for 1984 you couldn't ask for more it is a classic presentation 
of the sprites and the graphics layout you could find back then. Kind of Commodore-ish uh, graphics layout, if you ask me. Uh, but the good news is that the cartridge works, the computer works, and um, I'm pretty satisfied uh, with this purchase. Now the so-called uh, high resolution mode, which was mode 2, uh, could uh, go up to 256 by 192 uh, with 16 colors on the screen with uh, 32 sprites capability. And the sound was based around the General Instruments AY chip, the 18910. Now, process-wise, and as this is a classic example of the MSX-1 series, um, the, those machines were based around the Z80 processor uh, by Zilog or the uh, NEC equivalent. And for those last few uh, seconds, I'm checking also the joystick and apparently it works just fine. Now, the way they have presented this um, personal data bank, this uh, software that pops up by the time the computer is booted, uh, was something that is a very smart way to present it back then through some kind of GUI. Uh, I don't know if uh, someone found this that useful. I mean, to have a scheduler on the computer without no without any uh, real-time clock or anything, um, a memo diary or an address manager of some sort, uh, maybe the transfer utility could work just fine and could be useful. But in any ways, it's fancy and interesting the way they have presented all these pieces of practical everyday software uh, pieces together. Um, but anyways, I don't think it was kind of useful at all. Maybe the best way to go through immediately after uh, booting is to go over BASIC, which apparently uh, was the um, classic um, Microsoft BASIC version 1, like um, every other machine from that um, MSX1 series used to have back then, and it was quite nice um, and fast, and so um, that was all for today uh, for the first and quick review over the Sony Heatbeat uh, MSX from 84. Um, I'll be back with other um, MSX machines uh, soon. I mean, hopefully, if time permits, soon enough. Uh, do not forget to check often over the MSX uh, playlist. I'm going to put there every review over the MSX machines that are going to be in the lab to be presented and um, thanks for watching once again uh, consider subscribing of course I'll be catching you soon with another video review demo repair modification some sort um, or presentation of a game who knows um, so thanks again for watching um, bye for now